I just want to do a little update on uh, the catastrophic failure of the Eureka K2XT. I've got the rain fly off now. I'm just take, kind of taking it down. I want to examine what exactly happened here. Uh, none of the poles lived. They're all bent. Look at this one. This is the bad one. You can see the one in the back there too. That spine is just bent 90 degrees. This one's really bent. See the bend? Hammered. Hammered. Nine inches of snow. Just fell in uh, in an overnight period. Not a big deal. This should have easily taken that. It's got the front corner right up off the ground. This thing is so bent up and mangled. The tent's fine. There's water inside, but just because when the snow caved it in, it sat on top of it. And inevitably, that's going to cause water to go in, no matter how good the tent is. So I don't blame it for that. But uh, if the if the poles had been a little better, they're really lightweight poles. I don't know if I would use poles that lightweight in a tent that's supposed to be four season. I mean, this, this didn't take any abuse. What if it was two feet of snow? My God crush it flat um, I don't think it's the tent I just think the poles are garbage unfortunately I don't really want to replace them I bought the tent because it was four season I want those poles to be able to take four season abuse and nine inches is not abuse <clears throat> it's a pretty average you know snowfall um, but once again check out the Spitfire tall and proud it's not a four season tent. There's nothing wrong with this thing. Oh my God, this thing's great. I'm wicked impressed with this. Ah, oh yeah. That's fantastic. I'm gonna climb in. Let's see what it looks like. I bet it's soaked inside, but there's no real protection from that on this tent. There's not meant to be. Oh my God. Looks like it's relatively dry in here. It's fairly dry in here. This is my new four season tent right here. Not insulated, obviously. I'm impressed. This thing blows me away. I had no idea this was gonna be this good when I bought it. Good deal. Yeah, well, there's a Spitfire one. If you want to do four season stuff, I should also mention both of these tents sat out here in some, in uh, a few hours worth of pretty gusty winds we had one night. And oddly, the K2 XT stood up to that no problem. That was before the snow. It got really beat on by the by the wind. It was no problem. It was uh, perfectly straight before that. But the uh, the Spitfire went through it, no problem. You see the snow piled up on the side. Um, no problem whatsoever with that. And uh, then it lasted the snowfall. It gathered up a little bit right here. You can see there's a wet spot right there, but that was the only place it really hung on to snow. The rest of it, 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 it shoved off. If you were camping out in the, in the weather, in the wintertime in this, and you walked away from it and it snowed while you were away, it'd be fine. You come back, dust it off, and it'd be good to go. This thing went down like a uh, went down like a lightweight and a heavyweight ring. Pathetic. I'm pissed. Not happy. I'm gonna give Yurika a shout, see what they do about it. I'll keep you posted on anything that comes of that. But it didn't do its job, that's for sure. I already posted a notice to their Facebook page. I don't know if anybody pays attention to that Facebook page or not at their company, but uh, they should. Because I've already complained about it and I haven't anything back yet. I'll just have to call down there. I actually don't live very far away from Eureka, which is why they brought it by their products. I uh, kind of a, I try to support the hometown companies. And uh, I've had tons of Eureka tents and I've never had a problem with them. This is my first foray into the four season now. <laughs> like I said before, normally I. Uh, Normally I camp in the winter without a tent, and I figured I'd go buy one in the second I do, sure enough. Fail.